One, uh, one of the neat things you could do with these Peterbilt air cleaners when they're brand new before you get a, a mark in the air cleaner is to, to make it strapless. And it's very simple to do that by taking it off the truck, taking the four bolts out of this bracket and leaving everything in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top cap off. We're gonna pull the air cleaner out of it, the air cleaner element. We're gonna drill straight through this bracket into the air cleaner, leaving the bands on. And then once we have it bolted in, we take the bands off and it's ready to go back on the truck. Very simple. And at the same time, while you're doing this, it's a good idea to get never seize and never seize all your studs and the bolts that go back into your into the side of the cab. I'm just uh, marking uh, where I'm going to drill my holes to, uh, to bolt the bracket to the air cleaner. Phil's tried different ways of doing this job over the years. This is actually the easiest one. You're not, uh, you know, a lot of times you're sitting there trying to drill from the, from the outside in and uh, with it on the truck. It's just easier to take it all apart like this, the brackets, nothing moves, and drill it this way. And then that way it's just, you're not fighting inside the air cleaner and then you could, you know, really clean your air cleaner out for all the filings and whatnot when you're done. Uh, for durability and that, I don't think you're going to lose a whole lot because um, basically when you have this clamp and it's in the rubber, and you have the band clamp on there. And if you pull these straps off, like good luck trying to pull this air cleaner off the truck. So by taking these bands off, I, I don't think you're losing a whole lot of strength. I think this is the third or fourth truck we've done it to and we've never had a problem. There's a lot of people that have done this and uh, it's a very simple way to do it. It makes a nice clean air cleaner Yes, drilling in stainless is a very good drill bits. Be prepared to go through a few 316 bits. Okay, that doesn't count part of a drip. I think it's quicker to put a motor in. Once the pilot holes are drilled, Phil brings them up to size with a step yeah. drill. I'm actually going to go 5 16 
5 16 and um, instead of using a stainless washer I'm using a grade 8 now this is a grade 8 it, the zinc coat on it is silver instead of like your regular gold so it blends in but this will have more strength than stainless stainless is only grade 5 Okay, before we put that in, what I do is I usually step it up to a bigger drill bit just to get the burrs off from inside. You may be wondering, can you do this with an older air cleaner? You find somebody that's very good at polish and stainless and on, providing that the clamps weren't on too tight, they could uh, buff out any like uh, difference in colors and through the year especially these will get pitted, stone pitted, but older they are, harder it's going to be. Put soap and water on here just to make it slippery for the the stainless air cleaner the the neck of it to slide on there Is it in over there? Thing on this side, yeah. Want to start it? Hey? You're good on this side. Oh, don't blow it too far. Okay, just a second. I'm going to hold it there? It should stay at least. Yeah. That was going to be off. Yeah, that's it.